So Destiny just dropped a trailer on Guardian Games. Yes, I know there was leaks a few days ago. I was waiting for this trailer. If you have watched this trailer already, feel free to skip to the timestamp above. But if you have not, watch it right now. The last time we did this, my Titans achieved what can only be described as a blowout. The battle lines have been drawn. Now we will see fireworks! This is amazing! Yes! Use the large gun! Break them! Eh? Did y'all like that? Dude, every year they get closer and closer to SRL and the theme around it, right? Like the colors. It's almost as if we should have Sparrow Racing League back in the game permanently. Now, released from Bungie's website is actually the breakdown of Guardian Games. By the way, for my new players that are wondering what the hell Guardian Games actually is, it's essentially Warlocks versus Titan versus Hunters. Which actually results in Warlocks and Titans teaming up and taking on Hunters. Or at least that's how it was last year. Yeah, everybody came out laughing at Titans. Said we had no chance. Saying things like Titans can't count bounty anyways but it doesn't matter because we just kept doing bounty after bounty after bounty hence my gold butt towel here that's right first place all right first place now last year things were weighted a little differently right because there is a population difference in classes Bungie actually weighted things so every hunter last year was crying saying oh if the game wasn't weighted against us if we didn't have to turn in two bounties to Titans one bounty we would have won so Bungie I'm here to say drop the weights drop the weights let's make this mono a mono Straight up and down, fair 1v1 here. And I still think we would win. Now, looking at the page here, this is your chance for glory. The Vanguard has secured a ceasefire with the Cabal Empress Kaido, and humanity enjoys a brief moment of respite. Eager to celebrate Guardians and lift spirits, Zavala sounds the call to competition, and the class banners are raised around the town. The Guardian games have returned, and glory awaits. Now, head of the class, Titans dominated the last Guardian games. Yes, we did. Ever since, Hunters and Warlocks have been preparing for the annual challenge of skill, bravery, and resolve. Earn medals from Eva Levante by completing contender cards and triumphs. Each week is a new chance to be recognized as the top class in the games. So is our seasonal challenges going to be tied into this? Like, is there going to be new seasonal challenges that are dipping into contender cards? We'll see. Moving on. Closing ceremonies. May the 7th through the 9th. Claim the podium. Each weekly podium ceremony will grant guardians with a distinctive gold, silver, or bronze aura which will last the rest of the week. The winning class will be recognized at the Guardian Games closing ceremonies May the 7th through the 9th, complete with resplendent fireworks and a trophy displayed in the tower all year long. Please God be bigger than the last trophy. Now the spoils of victory. Winning is its own reward, but equipping powerful exotics is even better. Earn the heir apparent exotic machine gun and its catalyst. An exotic sparrow plus legendary class items, one per class, two emblems, and a pair of shaders. That's right, guys. Air Parent will be back, which is kind of unfortunate. I would prefer a new exotic, but it really depends on the exotic catalyst. Right now, the caddy is actually showing a new perk called Legion's Bulwark. Hope I'm saying that right. Essentially, it increases the arc shield durability and partially reloads the magazine if it is destroyed. So if the arc shield itself is destroyed, it'll partially reload the mag, which is not bad. I mean, this is actually pretty good. It's got some utility. We'll just have to check out what it means by increasing the arc shield durability. Will it insta pop from arc damage still probably so but maybe not maybe that's what this means right here but as far as the other rewards go check out these hunter cloaks not bad bronze is gonna look good on you fellas titans oh oh look at an, another golden butt towel absolutely and warlocks warlocks you got some fiery stuff on it it's so damn fiery you can hardly tell what the color is actually silver is the only one you can really tell which is perfect here now as far as bungee rewards that's right for those that are really wanting to go the extra mile and show off your guardian game 2021 colors you can buy a jacket just in time for summer right now eververse will have glows stated right here represent your class with pride with a new guardian games universal ornament set featuring glowing class items plus a new weapon ornament for air apparent sporting exotic emotes and more dude we are getting closer and closer to like the age of triumph ornaments that actually looks really good i like this a lot now will it be for silver or bright dust bungee hopefully bright dust right and the way it's probably gonna go like the first few weeks will be silver 
over and then I'm assuming eventually it'll be bright dust. Now some screenshots for the event. Look at this. Ah, oh, Guardians be looking sexy, man. You see the ornaments from behind? The Warlock ornament there is starting to really remind me of what was the, uh, the Trials. The Trials of Osiris ornament from Destiny 1 for the Hunter class. See how it's got the ears? Now if you notice there at the end, the podium itself, you'll see the banners. And this will change day to day depending on who is in the lead. The higher the banner, the better. This is a good visual representation though if you ever want to know who is actually winning go to the tower look at the banners and see who's actually at the top now this must be the new ornament for heir apparent mighty sexy gonna be even better with the exotic catalyst we also have a new ship a new sparrow is that a mini sparrow oh my god if that's a mini sparrow we might drop some money i'm not ashamed to say i will drop mad money on a mini sparrow we also have an hd image of the laurels these are the things you're going to be collecting as well as a ghost shell as a tennis ball with a headband dude bungee artists are just getting out of hand you know what i mean like where does it end where does it stop so guys that is essentially guardian games and we will have a guide out as soon as it launches next week at reset i will say there is a requirement though for players or specifically new players if they're looking to participate in guardian games and they have to at least completely escape the cosmodrome to unlock the tower in order to access guardian games now as far as the competition itself you will earn medals from completing activities and then turn them into the podium to earn points for your class's team the laurels though are what's dropped by other players during guardian games to purchase bounties contender cards and rewards from Evelavante. laurels will drop in all activities except for gambit and crucible where they will be awarded after a match has ended now players must wear their guardian game class item to generate laurels and progress any guardian game bounties previous guardian game class items the cunning cloak mighty mark and sage bond will not generate laurels or progress any guardian game bounties laurels do not drop in the ground in gamut or crucible and are instead rewarded directly to the players afterward unrecovered laurels do not go to the player's postmaster and must be picked up to count towards their total as far as the medals go players can earn medals from triumphs contender cards and activity completions medals are stored in the metal case found in the quest inventory turning completed medals into the tower podium will increase your team's score these are the actual medals right here also bungie didn't note here if your metal case is full medals earned through claiming triumphs will be lost so that's actually what's going to be housing your medals now contender cards themselves players can actually purchase these contender cards from eva completing the trials or nightfall contender cards will award a platinum medal completing the strikes gamut or crucible contender card will award a gold medal and these should be weighted pretty significantly the rewards themselves though the three exotic guardian game ghost shells can be purchased with laurels from eva the color of speed exotic sparrow can be earned through collecting class points and completing triumphs the air apparent exotic machine gun can be acquired through a quest if players do not already own it and the air apparent catalyst has a chance to drop from banking gold or platinum medals if players already own the gun so immediately upon banking medals we can actually get the catalyst additionally there is a new legendary class item for each class as well as two emblems and two shaders that players can earn by completing triumphs and of course another way to get bright dust experience as well as laurels is the guardian games weekly daily and repeatable bounties now like we mentioned a second ago but just to reiterate here the tower podium will change daily to reflect the current status of the leading team these flags will update throughout the day to show which team is leading there will also be a calendar showing the winner for each day throughout the event and i'm assuming whichever team wins the most days is who wins overall well guys that is your guardian games event launching next week let me know in the comments below what you think this is a fun activity i like the competition between the classes and it's something to do we do have a season coming up right around the corner so this is kind of like a final send-off for this season leading into the next one well fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right <laughs>